Hey, if you guys would like to win free currency and game passes and stuff, join the link in the description. That's the big server uh, now that I host community events, so make sure you're there. What's up? Let's, uh, let's do first life. Let's make this as simple as we can, right off the bat. Let's skip the tutorial. We're just gonna withdraw everything. We're gonna make some money. So, a couple things to take note of is we have two currencies we need to care about right now, which is cash, and the other one is RP, research points. So, with this, let's just start making money. We're gonna do that. We're gonna place some basic iron mines around the cell furnace. The cell furnace does a, I think, a times 20 multiplier, so we're gonna get a decent amount of cash. Now we're just gonna wait until we can get a couple of these. We're gonna wait until we can get 1.6k. There we go. Now we're gonna withdraw those. Now we have this remote button because these are remote mines. So let's put this there. Let's start clicking. Nice, now we're making $200 a piece. We're gonna do this until we can afford this right here. So we need to get $25,000. Then we're gonna start making RP. How you get RP is through research crates. Those are the crates that are gonna fall around the map or you can get them through depositing a certain amount of ores into a furnace. We need a lot. We're gonna need about, I'd say at most 50,000 RP to get you your rebirth. So what we'll do is we're gonna place this down. We're gonna click and we're gonna press Z. I don't think you'll be able to do both of these at the same time if you're on Xbox, but if uh, you are, then just do this one. This is worth a lot more than these are. We're gonna do this until about 140K-ish to buy a remote diamond mine. Now we're gonna swap one of these out with that. And now we're really making money. $20,000 a piece. So, we're gonna buy two more. Never mind, let's just buy three. Let's do this. Nice, you're at millions. Okay, so to make this easy, what we'll do is we're going to buy 99 basic research centers. 99 silver mines and uh, save up and buy 99 military grade conveyors. It's fairly cheap. So RP is used to unlock things in the shop, like I said, so we obviously need to do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this one going left, this one going down, this one going up, and this one going right, just like this. Then, you're gonna place them like this. Now you're gonna highlight all of it, and you're going to copy-paste it as much as you can. And we're kind of just gonna chill, and we're gonna let this do its thing for a little while. fact, now we might as well do this. Let's buy another 99. I'm gonna buy like 200 of each. I think that's enough. Now I suggest running this uh, maxing your ore limit out, you can go run around the map and um, collect boxes to speed up the process. 
realistically, this is only going to take a couple of minutes. It's very quick. This is this is the fastest way to get RP. Yep, unique tier items are already unlocked. Now we have literally unlocked items that cost the trillions. So now all we need to do is unlock epic. Epic tier items are not very far away, and those last a very long time. So we could stop in epic. Epic costs 50,000 RP. Now we just wait and do that. Done. You could withdraw all. All of the ores should die. Now, what we're gonna do is let's get money, right? We're gonna need money. So, because we need about a million dollars to do this, let's just place one of these down. Let's get the money we need. Okay, more than enough. Now we're gonna get a cell incinerator. We're gonna place that down. We are going to place three of these and click. That just gave us 600K. I'm just gonna buy a bunch of these. Okay, now we're in the high millions. Well, mid millions. We're gonna buy an industrial diamond mine. And we need one more cell incinerator. We're gonna put the cell incinerator down here in the corner with the diamond mine. Now we're gonna buy 99 of these military grade conveyors and 99 of these coal mines. So what we'll do is let's just start out by placing three we're going to place three coal mines, and another three coal mines. We're just going to copy-paste this for a little while. And then we're going to click the remote button in the background, and now we're just going to make a stupid amount of money really, really quickly. We're going to do this until we get about a billion dollars. Okay, 500 million. Nine hundred million. Let's hit that billion mark. Beautiful. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy a cell processor. And we're just gonna swap that out. Now we're gonna do this until I'd say about ten billion. You also really want to speed this up. You could buy another industrial diamond mine and another processor and just copy paste the entire thing. However, do note it can be kind of laggy. Here you go. Now the profits have literally doubled. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna need a couple items for this. We're gonna buy a blue ore teleporter sender, a blue receiver. I suggest buying like three senders. Um, now we're gonna we're gonna get a good furnace. We need a good furnace. So we could do something like Heavenly Forge, 
which multiplies by six. Or you could do a raised furnace. We're gonna go with the raised furnace because there's a lot. It's a, it's it's a lot cheaper. Because of that, let's buy a uh, hundred ramps. We're gonna buy some plasma iron polishers. These upgrade every tenth ore that goes through um, by times four. So we're gonna buy. Doesn't matter how many. We're also gonna buy a couple ore scanners. Um, I'm also gonna buy some shielded conveyors. I don't think I'll need them, but just in case, I'd like to just have them there. Then we're going to buy 30 of these portable ore advancers. They're very good. Uh, let's get some tiny conveyors as well, just in case. Um, and I'm going to buy some nuclear conveyors. We'll need those later on. We're going to buy one ore gate. Just one. We're going to need a radioactive refiner. One ore magnifier. You don't need it, but it's useful. One ore tracker. One large converter ramp. Two way up high upgraders. And then you're going to go back to furnaces, and you're going to buy one ore replicator. Um, actually, go back and buy a another large conveyor ramp, or a converter ramp, doesn't matter. And then for the, the mine we're going to use, let's just go with a uranium mine. So I'm going to buy six uranium mines. All right, now I'm going to withdraw all. We're going to make this setup. It's going to be incredibly easy to make. All you're going to do is you're going to place three uranium mines, two apart. So you're going to put two rows of three, two tiles apart. Then we're going to get those conveyors. Doesn't matter which you place. Just don't use basic conveyors. I'm going to use shielded. Doesn't matter. And then I'm going to put an ore tracker. Then we're going to use Ore Magnifier. You want to use this because it only works as the first upgrader, so we'll place it there. Then we're going to place a teleporter. After the teleporter, we're going to put the receiver. This is so we can create a loop. The reason we're going to create a loop is because this upgrader, the way up high upgrader, can be used over and over again until the ore reaches $1 billion in value. So we're just going to send it through over and over and over until it reaches a billion dollars in value. So we're going to place the ore gate and we're going to open the ore gate. Then we're going to place the sender. Now, since we have some money left over, I'm going to buy a pink teleporter receiver and a pink teleporter sender. What you could do here is you could place the pink beside the blue for the senders, and then you're going to place the receiver right here. Now what we'll do is we're going to place a long line of military grade conveyors. Now you're going to get those portable ore advancers. You're going to place five of them and then you're going to copy paste those. So there's 15 on each side of the conveyor belt. Just like that. Now what we'll do is let's place a ramp, a military grade, and we're going to place some plasma iron polishers like this. I'm going to put four of them. Then I'm going to place another conveyor ramp and another military grade conveyor. Then I'm going to put two ore scanners just in case the ores miss the first one, I'm going to put, uh, put two. Then I'm going to put a radioactive refiner. Uh, actually, hold on. I'm going to change that. Let's put that large converter ramp down. And then we're going to put the ore replicator on the side so that the ore is hitting the green part when it hits the top. Yes, it will work. Don't question it. Then we're going to put the radioactive refiner, our conveyor ramp, and our raised furnace. Alright. Now that these are blinking, that means it's working. Uh, and that, well, they're done looping. We can stop the loop. So we're going to switch these around so that they go into the pink. Don't forget to swap them back. Oops. Watch, this is going to give us a lot of money. They're already in the high billions. 
Oh, we had a max order limit. That's why it didn't duplicate. Okay, that's fine. Come on. There we go. Alright, nice. Now we're in the trillions. So because we're in the trillions now, what we can do is we can switch our loop to a better loop. This is called the Freon Blaster loop. All we need is three Freon Blast upgraders. If you have enough, like I do, to do more than that, go with six. So what we'll do now is we're also going to upgrade our mine to two Painite mines. If you can't, just keep using uranium. There's not much of a difference. It really won't matter. If you can, though, if, if you can afford the Painite, use the Painite. If you can't afford the Painite, use uranium. Like I said, it doesn't matter a whole lot. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move the gate. And now we're going to place four nuclear conveyors. We're going to put three at a time like this. Actually, I'm going to do three nuclear conveyors. I'm going to change what I did a little bit. So we have three nuclear conveyors and three Freon Blast. We're going to place them just like this. That's it. That's all you have to do. And you're going to open that up. Now be careful. You want to keep your ore limit low. You want to keep it around the 50s. So once I hit 50 ore limit, I'm going to just move the sender. Because I don't want to have to place everything back down. So I'm just going to uh, take that. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, we had a phone call. Okay. Yep, so as you can see, now the 50 ores are just about done. So I'm gonna stop the gate, and I'm going to put the pink sender down. Let's follow these ores. They're gonna be worth a lot. They're almost worth a trillion already. Now it's gonna upgrade some of those ores, not all of them. Then another upgrade, then an upgrade, and now they're going to duplicate. So now we have 100 ores going in. Boom! Now we're at quadrillions. It's only been like 20 minutes. We're almost done with the early game already. Okay. The loop is not going to change. We're going to use this loop until we rebirth. So we're going to make a couple changes. We're going to buy two advanced ore scanners. Um, We are going to buy... Right now, we could only afford one, but we're going to buy one Schrodinger Evaluator. Now we're going to move this whole thing four units forward. We're going to place the Schrodinger, and we're going to sell or remove our uh, ore scanners and replace them with advanced ore scanners. Let's upgrade our furnace as well. Uh, what furnaces do we have available? We don't have many good ones available, but we'll use Sacrificial Altar. It's pretty good. I think it's a it's a times eight. So there's our furnace. Now let's start sending ores through. This time we're gonna want to go with about a hundred ores. The reason we're gonna go with a hundred ores is those Schrodinger evaluators can kill and or explode your ores. They could just die out completely. So what you'll do is. You, you just really kind of want to have, um, you want to have the replicator after so that any ores that do survive get duplicated to make up for the ores that die. We're going to end up using a lot of these because they could be used infinitely and they're very high multiplier. It's just you're going to have to luck out with your ores. That's enough. So now what we can do is these are blinking, which means some or all of the ores are done. In this case, it's some, which is fine enough. We're going to swap these back. Now watch. Like I said, some ores are going to explode. You'll lose some ores. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Nice. Now look, we we got a lot more of quadrillion. So, 
don't worry about that either. It's just, uh, it's like a lag thing. The ores are already processed. You didn't lose anything if that happens. Um, we're gonna buy another one of these. We're just gonna do that for a little while until we start getting high quadrillions. So now we can send them back. Okay, so now we're going to do some of these up. We're going to switch this back so they have here. Watch. Now we have a few Now we are going to die. Now it's going to duplicate them all. Now we sold for five quadrillion. Okay, so we are going to buy... Uh, how many can we get? We can get three more Schrodinger evaluators. Great. Let's do that. So we're going to need to place this about 12 apart. Damn, I was so close. I was one tile away. Okay. Now let's put another 50-ish ores back. Okay. Now we're going to send them into the setup. And we're going to switch this back so we don't have to later. That's a lot of money. Okay, now we're making genuine progress. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to furnaces. We are going to buy the Dream Maker for two quadrillion dollars. Nice. It's like really nice. This is very quick. Um, okay, so now we're going to find, where is it, where is it? Okay, this is what we're looking for. We're gonna buy two of these. Flaming ore scanners. Nice. Now, we're going to buy as many more of these as we can get. We can only get three more. That's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to withdraw that, and we're going to kind of move this out of the way. Now we have this. Okay. So what we'll do is let's place a basic conveyor here. And we're going to get a few wall segments from the shop. Just like three. Just like this. We're going to take all of this. And we're going to move it four tiles forward. Just like this. You're going to remove your advanced ore scanners. And replace them with the flaming ones. Take this military grade conveyor and remove it. Then you're gonna take a centering conveyor for 77 billion. You're gonna place that right here. Now you're gonna take a Freon Blast upgrader. Looks like we need another. This puts fire out. So since this will set the ore on fire, which could kill the ore, we're gonna negate that by using a Freon Blast upgrader. Now we have all eight Schrod uh, Schrodingers that we need. Now we're kind of done. Now it's just up to luck, and we could add additional things as we need, but you can rebirth entirely off this if your luck is good enough. So, this is our setup. We just put everything back, and now we're going to loop one more time. This time, I'm going to go with about 100 ores. There's a lot to do here uh, with keeping the ores alive, so having as many survive as possible and then duplicate all of those ores at the end is crucial. So that's what we're gonna do. I'll be there in about a minute, two minutes, so. In case you're curious as well, uh, the only other upgraders you might end up needing are ion fields, which you could use, I think, four of, but you have to use a cannon to get to them, and orbital upgraders. Uh, they have a massive beam that reaches the sky limit, and they're really good. Okay, now we're going to withdraw this, or just move it, whatever. 
and we're gonna let all of these ores reach uh, loop capacity, which is, I think, 127 billion. Little does he know about this video. Little does he know. Okay. So we're gonna stop the loop. Now we're gonna send all the ores through. Come on, go take the gold box. Oh, you're gonna die, aren't you? Hundreds of quadrillions of dollars now. Okay. So... Also, I don't know why the ores were set on fire again. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna replace those basic conveyors with centering conveyors. And then I'm going to put another Freon Blast upgrader here. Uh, I'm actually gonna put two. That's very odd. That should not be happening. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, let's just go with a orbital upgrader. They're a lot easier to use. So we'll just put that here. Now we're gonna loop one more time. We're gonna do this until about 110, 120 ores. Oh crap, I forgot to uh, fix that. Or I'm gonna buy a pulsar and kill all of those ores to speed this up. Okay, that's more than fine, so we're going to swap them back after we put the ores into the setup. Now we're just going to kind of hope that that works. High quadrillions once again. So not making just enough yet. Um, so what we'll do is we're gonna buy just another one of these and hope for the best. Okay, we're gonna toggle this. Send them, swap it back. Now it's delayed again because of the terrible server lag. Okay, we're gonna do this again. Now we have all three being used. So now once again, we're just gonna keep waiting. Come on. 
Nice, quintillions. Okay, this is where we want to be at. Okay, so what I'm going to do is because we're still having some problems with lag, I'm going to put another two of these and I'm going to replace this with a centering conveyor. So I'm going to put a centering conveyor down there and another two of these. Um... So now we have four, and then we're going to put, once again, two more, just like, or just one, actually, just like this, and we're going to put some walls. So let's buy some of those. Now we're going to move all of this back here, and what we'll do is we're going to put down a cannon. Now, just to test this, let's put any mine down. I'm going to use a silver mine for this. Just to test where the ore is going. Now, I'm going to buy four ion fields for 200 quadrillion. As well as a portable macro wave. So what we'll do is, you want them to be slightly off-center by one tile, so that it goes through just like that. We're going to put two sets of those, just like that. Now, below it, we're going to put a line of those shielded conveyors. Then about here, we're going to put down another large converter ramp. With a conveyor here, just like that, and we're going to put down a portable macrowave, just like that. Uh, if you want to, you could even put a way up high upgrader, or uh, not a way up high upgrader, a way up high conveyor, um, down like this, but I gotta, I gotta find one of normal size for the, the way up high conveyors. Here it is. Raised ear conveyor. Sorry, I don't know why they call them that still. So we'll do this. Okay, now I'm going to put that wood segment back. And I'm now going to put the teleporter back down. Uh, back down, sorry. Let's go. Let's send them through. Let's hope that this works properly. I'm a little anxious that the ores will die due to some pretty rough server lag that I'm going through right now. No, they're fine. That's fine. They're still processing. Some of those ores are very good. 12 QN... 14 QN, 17 QN. Okay, yeah, so this works. We just need to make sure we get all the uh, the ores this time. Okay.
There we go. 25 QN. 50 QN. Wow, we actually got enough to get second life as well, because uh, life two to get to life three takes about 50 QN. Well, that's done. The whole video's done. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped. If it did, just leave a like or something. Uh, it really goes a long way. Like I said, if you want free currency, game passes, anything, join the Discord down below. I host community events um, officially for the game, and uh, yeah, you could win stuff there. Just support in any way you can. Really does go a long way. Thank you, guys. Uh, see you soon. Peace.